Hello, it's Super Thought Gaming here, and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones. And where we left off, well, Gareth was facing a monster thing with blue eyes. Um, the foresters at High Wrath are still doing stuff. I can't remember this now. Looks like the place. And <laughs> this is we're here nice. with this. Person, so I can't think of his by name, but yeah, we're trying to try to gather an army. Two go in, one comes out. Day after. So, yeah, this is no where we left off. But kill anyone who can Hopefully, can talk to some people, pay them off, anything. or just say, "Hey, do you want to fight for us? And I'll savages. fight you." But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords, if you can convince them to fight for you, and that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them, or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. So, yeah, this is where we definitely left off. You did what?! What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Okay. Is that guy alive? Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white arses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came before I decide to eat you. I'll start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. We're not here to fight. Just want to see Amaya. No, you don't. She doesn't want to be bothered by little men like you. Now, you've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One! You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. You want to see Amaya so bad? <laughs> Be my guest. Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 Tempted, I was tempted to headbutt him. <laughs> so now what? Well, hello there. Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once. 
the basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me! On all of us! Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Enough! I didn't come to hear your bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> Fighters, can we just have that option? My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father, they killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat! But you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Until today. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend oh. all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Okay. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best really? win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Yes. This looks quite good. Well, upper tactics. Crap, it is. Are you ready? Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! 
Yours would be a beautiful death. Isn't that Sorry, I don't really want to kill him, though. Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. <laughs> For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. What the hell is? If you're still smiling after I break your face, surprised you can lift it. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, so we have to use three, three of the weapons. Now the club to bash his head in. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Get up before he stabs you. for sport! The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me and you will have glory and gold. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! It's a good speech. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! So it's a fighting episode. Okay. 
Okay, they're dead. to stick together. Run! No! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Well, I hope I'm right as well. Oh yeah, she's going for questioning. About the uh, guy's murder. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. As if you didn't know where you were. No, Your Grace. No? I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When well, I suspect for this, for this occasion, it's not a lie. Pass, isn't it? You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. 
Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. So is she going to help me? I do. think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Okay, six, seven. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Oh, you pray my being useful. Especially with those Best skills. I wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. How about fire and blood, Uncle? Isn't that what the Targaryens say? Casting off! Hmm. I don't think the dragon lady person who goes on the Iron Throne now. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it.
Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. Well, thank you, but I'd rather not. You go ahead. Nonsense. I insist. Cheers. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. The Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. <laughs> I lied, I but who cares? I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although, I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei will be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Mm. So we basically found out, no matter what, unless if I chose the wrong, wrong choices. Oh, Roderick. Must you leave? Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. Yeah, they're about doing ever. I knew they would. Yes. What will we do now? Now that we're... What we are. 
We enjoy what we have, for as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... Talia, what's so important? It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. Talia, where did you get this? The man I saw, he stashed it in the knot hole of an old stump. Like he'd done it before. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. Traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Mm, who's the traitor? Go get the guards. Hey, oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. Start talking. Yes. I have been working with the White Hills. But only because you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. You're blaming me for what you did. I'm telling you what you need to hear. I rose through the ranks because I knew when to ignore orders from men unfit to give them. Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices, too, since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Taking Duncan to High Point, when what you needed was an experienced soldier. 
Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You betrayed us all, Roiland. My father included! I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Shut your traitor mouth. See? That's the problem. You just don't listen. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your oh. doing? They were going He's to ambush free, didn't you he? at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan, how could you? This was his doing. Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asha dies too. It's the right thing. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. There, let's go. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up. Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Huh. Point taken. I was gonna say, I'm waiting for a, 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 the normal point where I can have a choice of stuff. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? Nothing is easy. So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Hmm, <laughs> too, too shy. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight.
What? Get that gate open! Hills. It's been a while since I killed any White Hills. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basica. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Stay by my brother's side. He's your family now. I will, little brother. Fucking hearts out! Oh no! Go all this way with Asher and now we have to die! Stand. That's 50-50s. Oh, it end and it's ended. 63.4 did not try and stab Ramsey Sizer. So some did try and stab him. I wonder what happened to them. 61.5 spared Blood Song. 63 didn't tell him. Really, 38.5 had actually stayed behind, wow. And you and 58 chose to execute the, the trait of William, yeah, of course. So a load of people chose uh, Roderick. Oh. I always like those little sorts of things. Oh, well, we didn't have a pause within, the within these. But, well, now we do, because it's the end, end of the video, or the end of the episode. So when we come
come back will be there, episode 6. Hooray! And... I don't know what that means, but who cares. Um, so yeah, thank you thank you very very much for watching. Just, I know it's been quite a long video, but there was literally no no poison in between of any choices apart from the last one. I can't believe Asher is dead now. Oh. Well, was he the, the proper lord or something? I don't know, but... Oh, God. Oh, well. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please like, favourite and subscribe. You can also like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can The link's always below. You can also follow me on Google Plus, Twitch and Instagram. And that's about it. So I've been Super Gamer. This has been a quite upsetting but shocking Game of Thrones. And finally, goodbye.